Hey guys, welcome to LIH Blade Works. So I'm doing some videos tonight out in the garage. Kind of bored in the house, didn't want to be in there, so figured I'd come out here and goof off. And uh, I know you're gonna be jealous, but it's made in China, it's nothing fancy, but still, dirt and rust, you're gonna like this one. Check that baby out. And, it, and it's cool because I like it how it looks real old, real vintage old knife, but it's actually brand new. But uh, this is a Sheffield knife. And uh, the Sheffield, they're kind of like a low budget, whatever knife but i saw this a while back um and i was with my girlfriend heidi and we were in this uh, hardware store in this little town uh about an hour from where we live and and i picked it up and was messing around with it looking at it and i think she saw me salivating so uh she says uh you got to get that and i was like no nah, it's all right you know and the more i messed with it i was like oh man that's a sweet little knife and it's just a nice little beater everyday carry knife and uh it has this little deal right here where you can put a like your name on it or whatever. That way if you drop it and somebody knows whose knife it is or whatever. But this is a Sheffield knife and she got this for 11 bucks, which I thought was a really good deal. And it's got like the brass colored ends on it and uh, it's got two blades. It's got this guy and then on this side, it has a little bit bigger one. And man, these suckers are sharp. Um, I think it's just 440 stainless. If I remember correctly, I saw it on here somewhere. Yeah, it's 440C stainless and uh, it's just a nice knife. I mean, I started looking at it and like I said, I was playing with this in the store and kind of whittling on things and checking it out and, and I realized how sharp it was. And I know that because it's 440C stainless, it won't last too long, but you know, as far as the sharpness on the blade, because it's kind of a cheaper Chinese steel, but I was pretty tickled with that. For 11 bucks though, you can't beat that, you know, for a knife that if you lose it out in the woods or something, you're like, oh well. But, um, you know, more of the sentimentality thing of it, uh, you know, Heidi got this for me, so I thought it was a pretty cool little blade. And uh, it just, it's really neat looking, uh, the way they, they have the stag on here. And I imagine this is like imitation stag, but it still looks really nice. Just a cool little knife. Something to dink around out in the woods with and uh, mess around doing some whittling or whatever. And that's one of the things too is, you know, you can have a knife like this and you could be somewhere like on a, you know, like a lot of times if you're at a, volleyball game at the school or something and you pull out your knife and you want to do some whittling or nothing you know something like that you know you, you have your pocket knife and then you have your little whittler and you know you pull something like this out and this is like <laughs> like my buddy calls it this is a pocket sword you know you pull that out and start whittling with it you're probably gonna get the cops cop called on you but if you're somewhere and you you know pull out this small blade like this guy and you know, you're sitting on the corner whittling a stick or on one of the benches while the kids are playing at the uh, camp or not the campground, but the playground or something like that. You know, they're not even going to look at you twice. This this is just like an old school. This is something your grandpa would have carried. But uh, what a cool little blade. And it's got a really nice, uh, the locks on it are just super strong. I mean, it takes a lot to pull them out. So once they're open, it's really hard to push them back in. They're not going to just fold up on your hand which it's a jackknife, it will do that, but you just gotta be careful. But this is just a sweet little jackknife, and uh, like I said, I just really uh, enjoyed the way it looked as far as the, the vintage look. And, and I know it's a cheaper blade, but I was really happy with the way when you drop these knife blades down in there, you know, they're nice and lined up where they're supposed to be and whatever. And then that stag, the way it's all buffed up and everything, it just looks great. But anyways, hope I didn't bore you guys. I was excited to show you my new little knife and I had to te uh, tease uh, Adam from Dirt and Rust or Rust and Dirt. I can never remember the name of your channel. Why is that? That's just screwed up, man. I thought we were friends. <laughs> anyways, Adam, I hope you like this knife, man. This is, this is uh, I had to tease you with this because I know I sent you one a while back and you really liked that one, but I kind of missed it. And when I saw this one, I was like drooling over it. So it was pretty cool that Heidi picked this up for me. But anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Take care.